Hi, it's Rob from Big Country RV, Flagstaff Friday again. Today we're doing a super light 26 FKBS. Just gonna do a little walkthrough here to show you the Flagstaff difference. So, starting on the outside, again, there's your, there's your rail there. You're gonna have a barbecue that clips onto that. Just a little flat top. Propane disconnection underneath. That's just your furnace vent, water heater vent. We've got a little bit of storage in here. That's under your sink, because it's a front kitchen unit. In there, we just have your shelf. Shelf sits at the back here on here. And that's for your TV area. Under the awning, under the speakers, under that beautiful strip LED lighting, you do have a TV mount, an electrical connection, and your cable connection right there. This is just a TV for whatever, or sorry, a shelf for whatever accessories you need. Uh, going back a little bit further, this is just gonna keep your door closed or open. That way you can have the screen open and that's not going to move it all on you. You can get a little bit of uh, fresh air flow through. More ride steps here. Best steps you can get. Easily adjustable with the little tabs there. And it's always going to be nice and sturdy. No slips, no falls. Behind that, outdoor kitchen. Wash down the kids, wash down the feed, wash down the fish if you're into that. Uh, there's your water tank fill power stabilizers on this because again it's a flagstaff they don't want you going around with a crank in the rain just one button and you're done walkable roof ladder up there you can go check out your solar panel go get a better view of the campsite even just go up and see if there's anything happening on the roof talking you need to do anything like that all your setup all in one space and a little light there for you as well tank flush city water connection antifreeze for winterizing and your cable inlets Tire cover here, plastic tire cover, won't retain the ladybugs like the little uh, elastic ones, never gonna wear down and go faded or frayed. Solid uh, mounted bumper on there, it's a hollow bumper. Store your sewer hose in there, and right underneath that you've got a hitch for your back rack, your bike rack, whatever you need. If you use a back rack, throw a generator on there, a couple jerry cans of gas, and you can wire right into your power here run the air conditioning and everything off the grid. Going along this side, we have a little bit of storage under the bed here. You can see in there your nice fully bonded aluminum framing as well. That's a storage compartment. And then beyond there, we got some drawers, which we'll see from the inside. Slam down latches to make everything nice and easy. Underneath there, all your tank poles all in one spot. So your black water, your gray water, easy to get to and even though the slide is there you can just walk in between the slides and you can still get to it so you don't have to put your slides in to access that just another thing they thought of to make things easier for you that's great tank number two under there for the kitchen then again at the front here we've got docking lights there docking lights is going to light this up make it a little easier at night also gives you a little visual appeal it's nice to see power tongue jack standard on all of them Another docking light on there. There's your up and down. Standard dual 30 pound propane tank, so it'll get you off the grid a little bit longer. And a standard double battery box. Comes with a single battery. You can always add a second one to give you an extra stay off the grid. Now let's head inside. And here we are inside the bedroom. Fully furnished, you've got your blinds, your valances, your blankets all included, and that is a nice quality mattress. I know everybody talks about trailer mattresses. This isn't really a trailer mattress, it's beautiful, it's comfortable. Under the bed here, nice gas assist struts there. Aluminum bonded as well, so no plywood that's gonna fall apart. You've got nice, easy glide drawers. Again, all aluminum frame built to last. Very high quality. Beyond that, on your bedside tables, you've got some USBs, roll down uh, blackout shades, opposing sliding windows for cross breeze, another window at the back to escape if you need to, for whatever reason. And then uh, over here, you've got your wardrobe, drawers underneath, closet above, nice big hanging area. And then there's a max air covered vent above your bed there, another one above the uh, bathroom. Solar power charge controller on the wall so you can see what's happening with your solar system. In the bathroom here, again, standard glass doors, shower miser so you don't waste any water while your shower's heating up. Standard porcelain toilet so you don't have any uh, smell buildup or anything. And then through there into our main living room. Coming through, we've got the nice Millersburg collection furniture, lumbar support on the sides, 
flip down for your uh, beverages and also your USB and outlet there. Lumbar support on the sides and then you've got the pull out handle and the lounge back there. So beautiful, beautiful theater seating in here. Facing your nice TV, sound bar, indoor and outdoor speakers on the sound bar, fireplace underneath, one piece molded counter. And around here, just a little bit of storage space. You can either use that for uh, jackets and things by taking the shelves out or just use it as an auxiliary pantry, depending on what you want to do. On this side, we've got your control panel. That's a Wi-Fi control panel. Uh, Flagstaffs, a couple things you'll see also because it's a Flagstaff tank heater. That's a huge thing. Not everybody's going to have that. And your Wi-Fi booster. So everything you need right on here and also accessible through your phone. 12 volt fridge here will not take away any of your inverter power. Also won't take any of your propane. It's just going to run through that solar system. And again, you can always add a second battery or more expansion solar if you want to keep that going a little bit longer. Microwave up there, three burner stove. Again, beautiful seamless one piece countertops. Lots of storage above. Double sink so you're never wasting too much water when you do a load of dishes. Big automotive glass windshield giving you that whole panoramic view. Our inverter switch is just on the wall there, so if you want the battery to fire up your outlets, just hit that switch and you're good to go. USB again, little outlet there for a coffee or whatever. Then you've got your table here. Again, not a wobbly table, a flagstaff table. A little bit of a cantilever design there, so that just folds in nice and easily. Uh, your nice marine grade fabric dinette there. Velcroed in so you don't have to worry about the cushion sliding around. You do have drawers underneath which is a much better way to get in there. And again, what else do you need? There's a Forest River barbecue flipper for that barbecue. Tire pressure monitor in there, water filter, everything you need. Barbecue down there as well. This comes with everything you'll ever need. Upgraded features as far as lighting and the blinds. Opposing windows in here. That's our Flagstaff 26 FKBS. I'm Rob, Big Country RV. Come in and see us.